Ooh, what is up you guys, and of course, welcome back to another episode from yours truly, the Scarander. In today's video, we're gonna actually focus on the Rainbow Rocket episode. I actually set away from both Necrozma things and the Rainbow Rocket episodes, basically when the game was released, to make sure that I don't get spoiled with the new things at least, because there wasn't a whole lot of new things to be learned about, but the things that were new, I did want to stay away from it, so I'm very glad that I was able to do just so. And uh, I have my in-game team for this. I uh, really, really wanted to have as, as genuine experience as possible, and I really wanted to have myself alive in case this is something worthwhile. Um, now, my team that I ended up with was very interesting, um, because I did get some outside help. Now, I can't show you only the upper screen, so you won't get animation for the Pokémon, which is unfortunate. My PC is just not that good. Uh, but we're ending up with um, Lycan Rock, of course. Really, really good Pokémon overall. Um, definitely was one of the powerhouses throughout the team, or the, the game through. I mean, Tough Claw, it really, really was bringing something else to the team. Uh, Stoutland uh, was very, very open with this on um, uh, on Twitter that, yeah, Stoutland was uh, really glad to get this and never used Stoutland in game. So, very glad I get to play through this. That said, Stoutland is a very good Pokemon. Um, once returns start hitting hard, it hit hard. Uh, it doesn't learn anything good naturally. We get crunched and play rough, I do believe. Uh, ending up with superpower actually, since you know when the when you open up, um, what do you call it, the the last part of the game where you can catch uh, Stagataka or the, uh, the Blizzimion, um you can also get the mood sort of for the superpower. Um, next one was Stropius or my Gajira. Um, actually got some help with this one, which is that we. I got Atropius with the moveset I wanted, and then I read it basically. So I really wanted to be make sure it was mine Pokemon from the beginning. Uh, but I really wanted to capitalize on Dragon Hammer and Dragon Dance. So a different Atropius and not the ideal um, ability or anything like that. I believe this is Chlorophyll, so it's not the best one, most certainly not. Uh, next one is Metagross. Um, definitely was the one I think dealt the best with uh, the Necrozma. Um, this was the only Pokemon that wasn't too shotted by it, and I used a Special Defense X to make sure that I could survive it, so I really was appreciating that. Um, the, the battle itself was outright broken, if you ask me, but Metagross came through. Uh, I, I lost once, because I did definitely underestimate the power of the, the Necrozma, which clearly I think most people did. Uh, that Pokemon was very powerful. Um, the next one is Polyrath, one of my favorite Pokemon. Try to use it as often as I can. And uh, this one, not ideal either, but I could at least get a Salt Vest here, which was really good. I think that helps out Polyrath, uh, depending on how, of course, Rainbow Rocket will go. And my last one is Azaxus, my Garchomp. And yeah, I mean, we got the Garchomp bite, which was really good. I mean, the Mantine point really, the Mantine server point really came into brink here. I was considering Metagross for the Mega Pokemon, but I think um, Garchomp looks way cooler. Therefore, we're using that. Every Pokemon is between level 76 and 79, and I really hope that's enough. Uh, because if not, then we're going to have a rough time here, I'm sure. Uh, I haven't stocked up on the potions and anything like that, and I started a little bit here with the entry thing here on this episode, which is I actually talked to uh, the NPCs before going through, and Wick, I do believe she's called. After this, I decided, yeah, let's record this. I do want to have a genuine experience as possible, so... Yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. So right, Rocket members. Uh, what more Foundation members who haven't learned their lesson to head to a new HQ for a Team Rainbow Rocket Begone Intruders? Lead this person to me. You should go ahead, Skarner. What? Do you you got you you, you got um you got Lunala there? That's um that's kind of busted. I won't I, I won't take that away from you. So yeah, um, I realized I actually turned off the um, animations. So probably fix that just for just for the feeling um, after this battle. Depending on how strong they really are, I don't think they can be that strong, are they? Let's see. Has Prime Ape at level? Come on, at level 61. That's not too bad. We are we are way over our heads here. Um, that said, though, I'm pretty sure close combat takes us out, so I'm gonna switch in Gajira. I mean, Tropius is awesome. Um, I actually till I had Tropius to for I actually had my starter Pokemon first, um, and the 
not deciduous, never became deciduous. Um, but after um, I got in, um, oh, there we go. Um, let's see, I had um, Dartix, I do believe it, it became Dartix at least. Uh, then after that, I picked up um, Serena's List Revolution. Um, I can't remember what it's called. And then I got Delmis. Uh, and eventually, though, I got Tropius. So Delmise wasn't a team for a short while. Uh, it wasn't until actually I just like just, when I saw Tropius on the Executor Island, I was like, yeah, that we need that. That's an awesome Pokemon. We cannot go without that. So I was really happy that it was a part of the game because I actually forgot that Tropius was in the game, and I really, really liked Tropius. While it is one of the worst Pokemon possibly in the game, it is a very interesting one. And uh, it always brings a smile to my face of really seeing that overall. Um, right, it seems like I'm covering the text bubbles, so I really hope that... Um, I think I should adjust that, shouldn't I? Um, where is my face less annoying? Let's see. I'm gonna move myself over there, I think. There we go. Persian, that shouldn't have been a problem. Brick break. Yeah, that's a dead Persian for sure. I have no idea. Um, I heard people saying that, uh, you know, they will get stronger. Um, I never really did, like, any power level or anything like that. Uh, I was considering it, but I think I was already fairly high. Um, so that when I got Tropius up to the other's levels, uh, they did raise quite a lot. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I think I am in the clear here. Let's see, Haunter. Shouldn't be an issue here. Um, I should go for Accelerock, though. Since it's immune to um, Drill Run. Yeah, Accelerock was enough, clearly. Let's get some coffee. So yeah, um, with that said, though, I, I will say this about Ultra Sun and Moon. I think for just for hell with till I actually get to the mansion itself, I wasn't too happy with this game overall. Uh, I definitely feel that this game could, consider the material that is in the game, and I'm including this one clearly, um, I think this one could have been done like a DLC. I'm fairly sure, had it been on a newer console, that that would have been a better option because this comes off as a very very well like a cash grab I'm, I really can't define it anything else like that it's uh, it feels really shameless actually if you're asking me um, and yeah overall um, there are two little things in this game to really appreciate it um, mansion it looks like some kind of castle is this also because of the ultra wormhole that we was talking about stop right there isn't that Cornelius whatever it's called clearly I can't remember the name Fa was that right no not even close mr. Faba I am no forgettable characters can I can I say that no Let's see, what are you doing? I strongly suggest you abandon your efforts towards Team Rainbow Rocket. What do you mean by that? If Team Rainbow Rocket takes over Ether Paradise, the organization will grow far beyond what we are today, and more Pokemon will be saved. And if we can assist in doing so, no doubt in my career will also reach new heights. Such a wonderful thought, wouldn't you agree? Mr. Faba, did 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 you you wouldn't? Ah, as a suit as ever, Miss Lily, the same intuition that told you to rescue Cosmog still serves you well, I see. Yes, you guessed correctly. I have taken it upon myself to faci facilitate Team Rockets or, or Team Rainbow Rockets to take over and ensure everything goes smoothly. So he's supposed to be some kind of bad guy, right? Mr. Faba, how could you? We, we trusted you, and you, 
the Eater Foundation is not the same tool for you to use and move, move upon in the world. Um, you have to make this Team Rainbow Rocket stop all at once. You may be... I don't know what that... Astute, is that a word? Miss Lily, but I see you are less inclined to listen to reason. Um, now, even I would be hard pressed against the champion easily if Gladion or the grandson of Coke were eating him. But with you tripping him up, perhaps it won't be as difficult for me to win even against the champion. I'm traveling with Sky Skyrender has changed me too. I will show you my full power, dear lord. Yeah, I would laugh too if I were him, as you will. Then I, Branch Chief of Faba, eat a paradise the last line of the round, shall show you the little children the harness of the real world. Really? I am an Accelerock man, yo. I should be fine. I should be really fine here. Um, oh, a full team though, like six months, that's cool. And this is a double battle, so let's see, Claydool and Grambool. Alright. Clefairy, yeah, she is not aiding me, is she? Um, I intimidate is not good. Just gotta appreciate, you know, we're going with, you know, a big ass 3DS right now. And, um, or, you know, it's a regular DS, but you really can see, like, the frame rate just free dropping. Let's see. X defense on Clay Duel. That's, that's not good. Uh, Snarl. That goes for both, wasn't that? Yeah, that's, that's annoying. And light screen. Okay. I see you. Yeah, I should be fine just going for a meter match against the Gramble. Well, that's commands like it takes forever. This should just KO like straight on at it. It's a meta gross. Ooh, and I get the attack race. I think we got this. Earth power. Light screen though. Nom nom. Goes for reflect too, okay. I mean, she is not strong on her own, but I'll, I'll definitely give her that, that um, at least she becomes better. Like, she, she is at least aiding me, and that's always a plus. Um, let's see, Scrafty could be annoying, but I'm just going to take out Clay Duel, if I'm able to, that is. ICMC on Metagross is such a helpful tool, definitely against ground mons. So, I decided upon myself to actually bring that. And of course, I have priority in um, in Bullet Punch. It looks really strange to see this move from Metagross. This should KO, right? Pfft. And I'm at plus one, too. That's, uh, that's frustrating. Um, let's see. And goes for Snarl again. I can deal with that. Goes for Moonblast. Oh, this should do damage, though. But at minus two. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to way over motions here. But yeah, I should just get rid of Clay Duel. Uh, basically, to avoid a super effective damage and get a possible raise and attack again. I mean, Clefairy is far from able to attack. Like, there's really nothing the, Cle or the, the Clefairy really is doing. Uh, but at the same time, it's not a threat towards it either. I think Brux just walls me, though. Hmm. Yeah, he completely walls me. Um... I don't consider Scraft a threat, so I might as well attack Bruxus anyway. See, are faster, of course. Psychic Fangs breaks, of course. The Reflect and all of that. So that's scary. That really stung, though. That really stung. Um... Oh, that was that was all she brought. That's not good. 
She only had a Clefairy. What happened to Cosmo? Are you kidding me? Okay. Hmm. Well, what now? Holy shit, okay. Um, I guess we'll bring our saxes. I mean, we can still spam Earthquake, which is going to be great. It's whether or not it has Ice Fang, though. I really hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. Because I, when I use my Mega Guard Chomp freely, I do have speed. That's good. Yeah, out of my sights, <laughs> punks. <laughs> None shall pause. <laughs> All right, so the last Pokemon are a Hypno and Shinotech. Okay, Shinotech could be annoying, or Shinotech. I don't think it's a threat, but I definitely feel it's annoying. I'm still gonna go for Earthquake. I do believe that's in range to taking out Hypno. Should not take out Shinotic due to, you know, being resisted hit and whatnot. Yeah, it's not even close. Let's see, are we gonna see Moonblast? Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, we should take that. To the third all right, actually. We got Fire Blast, so we should be fine too. Should be, you know, if we don't miss. <laughs> At least got another hit in me. Come on, Zaxxus. There we go. Whack. That was enough. Good. So, yeah, I, I believe that Fabagai is definitely right. She was definitely holding me back. Shameful. Shameful Lily. Hmm. I'll have you know, defeating me won't do anything good anyway. The Ultra World Moon has resonated with the boss ideal, ideal, Ideology uh, and has gathered the toughest and meanest villains from many other worlds. Although, for now, they seem to be content to just do whatever reaches they wish using technology from Eater Paradise. Now, I hope you enjoy your futile efforts. Alright, let's move. Um, could you heal my mods? Guess not. Ooh. Well, since I don't fix that, the biggest question is whether or not. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have too many items necessarily. I had not any intention of actually like stocking up if we're going here. Though I seem to have enough. But I don't have a max potions or anything like that. Like a few revives and a few hyper potions is all I got. Um. Alright, it looks, it looks cool though. I mean, I definitely kept the Festival Plus as the sign of the, the Red Rocket's Castle because I really, really like that. Um, doesn't seem to be anything around here, does it? I guess we just have to check this out ourselves. A mirror. Or is it a portal? Not even this room. I had so many memories in this room. Okay. I didn't necessarily stick around too much in East of Paradise. I want to check out the rest of the mansion, but the door is hidden by the mirror won't open. Let's go back to the entrance and see what we can find in the other room. Really? I'm gonna do a fetch quest with this? Intruders! Eek. Okay. Um. Hey, you punks. Hi, right, Gusma is here. See, I remember his name. Because he is interesting. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down. And never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Gusma is here. Hey, I know you. You are the boss of that pathetic group of disbanded Team Skulls. I wouldn't expect much from just an Alolan thug. No vision, no ideals. What does such a worthless punk want with Team Rocket's castle? 
I gotta admit, you got me all figured out. I got nothing. Not even my team anymore. I just, I'm just another nobody. But I still got some things I gotta let go. Things I ain't gonna, gonna mess with. And guess what? You punks just mess with one, th one thing. I can't let that slide. Hey, Skyrim, give me a hand here. Didn't he say that he didn't have any Pokemons? He lied. Freaking hypocrite. He should have Goliath upon That's all he needs anyway. Eradicate and Pharaoh. Okay. This is, um, yeah. I mean, there's basically first impression, that's all I need. I still rock should KO Pharaoh and eradicate is no threat anyway. Interesting fact though, it does get stop in Tantrum now, which is awesome. See, an Endeavor. Probably a bit too late. And the Waterfall probably gonna kill, yeah. That's, um... Thank you for that. Can't believe I haven't leveled up yet. Defeated by Team Skull Punk. Yeah, that's... That's not gonna go away. <laughs> I really wonder how long this video will be. And uh, to be honest, let's see. What we are, Team RR. We are. We're not supposed to be so, uh, lose to punks. Yeah, I get that. Um, that they, they won't be obliterated. Thanks for helping us, Mr. Gusma. I just beat down the goons who were getting on my nerves, that's all. Now you're standing around. What are you standing around for? You got a score to sell, don't ya? Yes, we do. Here, let me heal your Pokemon first. Really? Like, you could have done that before. Alright, um. So we got this opened up. This is basically a small dungeon, then. It has to be. I remember those animations. Oh dear god, I was thought I was gonna run away from you. Guess not. I really just thought this was a battle compendium of some kind, but I guess not. <sighs> I see you're gonna send up Golbats. Cool. That's cool. Alright. I'm game though. I am game. I, I still think Accelerog is enough to KO, so, yeah. They're, they're not necessarily posing a threat towards me. I, maybe I am a bit high on level. At least for the goons. So basically... I can't remember what this name is, or the game is called. But I feel, if they are that simple, why do them at all? I definitely felt like I didn't pay attention. I thought I thought it was repeated. Let's see. <laughs> yellow, red, blue, green. Yellow, red. Yellow, red, blue. No? Blue, yellow. Oh, maybe the was right before. I didn't necessarily pay attention to what it did say. Anyway, distracting pose. All right, I see you. 
distracting post, really? You know, if you want to battle, that's good. Right, blue, yellow. Oh, freaking god, I can't remember. Yeah, that's, that's how wrong it sounds. Okay. <laughs> red, <laughs> green, blue. Red, green, blue, yellow, red, green. Two green, red. First this one. This one. This one. Distracting pose. No battle. Oh, Jesus. That's not nice. Then it's to the left, up to the red again, two two greens, and then red again. I think I have a fair shot of remembering this, but that was that was just mean. That was just mean if you ask me. Oh that didn't KO. It's seismic sauce, yeah. Thanks for that. I guess I was lucky. Bitch. There we go. Whack the ape. Yay, level up. Fair enough. It's not like I learn any new moves now, anyway. I think my move sets are complete. Uh, but yeah, then it's to this one. Then red. Two greens, then red. And one more green than red. Okay. This is actually working. This is very distracting. Um, Tentacruel, right. I gotta say this about the, um, the Lycan Rock, the Dusk Form. I don't think it's broken, but I think it's too powerful for a like, regular playthrough. Like, it's. Um, it just. When you know how the ability works. It stings so much harder, so it's very hard for um, for any matchup to really resolve it. Um, it's a very good Pokemon overall, and once I found a hard skill, so I could <clears throat> get you know the um, <laughs> Daxelarock things started to work out. I mean, I capitalized on a Rock Slide and Stone Edge, which almost didn't do as basically did the same amount of damage that Brick Brick was doing. Daxelarock is definitely weaker, but it's stronger than Rock Slide with the tough claws in mind. So, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yay! Finish the puzzle! Finish the puzzle! Alright, both open. Let's see, this is the lead to some kind of... Oh. But I, I wanted to take the item. Bastard. <sighs> It goes around one Pokemon anyway. Right, Mock. That's also something I realized. They were really just to really talk about Colos Pokemon, but you know, the original forms of Pokemon. I didn't believe it was as many regular forms. Like, I barely saw like a regular executor, or this is the first time I'm seeing a regular Mock. I saw one regular executor to get it with a Lowland form. And I, I thought that was really weird that we didn't see anything like that, like that because I feel like that's a good way of actually introduce these type of forms to, to the player. And I feel missing out of them is just, you know, I wouldn't say boring. Is there an electrode? They are really reintroducing this concept, alright. Um, am I in need of this? Not really. I mean, I got a lot of electrodes from, you know, my old team from my regular games. So I guess you're just gonna kill this one. Get some XP. It's always nice. Um, I actually got two electrodes. One that are um, a sweeper variant with specs. Sweeper as far as I go. And one that is a rain setter. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna save the game just so in case this something happens, right? I wonder, can you call it, really call it a sweeper? Yay, full restore, that's gonna be helpful. Alright, um... 
You got past the glowing floor puzzle. Well, you won't get any further. That was it. Okay. Do I face both or just one? Maybe I face both but one at a time. Let's see, Haunter. Yeah, that's that's not a threat. I feel like I should switch, switch way around, say for um, for Tropius or Stoutland. Wow, that didn't do anything, did it? You said a violite. That could very well be a violite, actually. Cool. That has to be. I mean, see, the other one just free fall from Accelerock, and this didn't. I'm pretty sure this is a violite. So that's cool. I like that. It's not a mindless button mashing as of this point, if stuff like that happens. Yeah, he, he looks pissed. You've got the brains and the Pokemon Brawn. Let's see how far it'll get you. Like, did you just see what happened? Like, there was no competition there. I mean, you're, you're, you're getting yourself killed, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Hypno. Hypno might be the solution. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the game changer right there. They're all idiots, aren't they? Oh! 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 There we go. There we go. Okay. I got priority, though. <laughs> yeah, see how it, Oh, no. Foul play actually might KO. Ooh. Let's do this. Scumbag, you're, you're kidding me. The worst part, it's not decisive or anything like that, it's just... Why? <laughs> why would you let yourself fall? Right, Gajira it is. And you guys saw that right, it's a, it's a beast ball. Because this is a beast. Who might as well get paralyzed now, now I remember, yeah. Fucking Hypno though, it's in the zone. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go for Dragon Hammer. Because the animation is awesome. Looks so legit. <laughs> Damn, I love that move. Alright, I did alright. <laughs> I really think Trogus is awesome. It's, uh, it's something extremely charming about, you know, the moves he gets. Um, one of the coolest Pokemon so far. Um, I really hope that resolve Tropius though. Um, and what I mean by that is that I think Tropius has things holding it back. Uh, it's definitely don't have an ability for the game, you know, to be able to be viable. I don't believe Harvest is that. Um, so one thing I definitely want to see is getting thick fat and Mega Form, a new form basically that could resolve this issue. I think Mega Form would make the most sense, however. I wonder if I should use Garchomp. It's the one that has the lowest level. Nah, Stoutland it is. We need some Stoutland love, don't we? It is the best, man. Though my Sally is Intimidate. Oh, that's Maxim, right? Here I thought it was the obnoxious Faba coming to pester me again. But all the ruckus for about was caused by a child. I am Team Magma's Maxi. I had finally realized the grand design only to be swallowed by the great fissure that appeared beneath me when I woke up and was in this world. I am enjoying this experience so far, uh, though the knowledge of this world is fascinating. I do intend to return to my own world eventually, but first I have decided to bring the grand design into this world as well and get all the land to the people. It's too much water. <laughs> That's never getting old. Um, let's see, I'll use the magma control power of the continent Pokemon Groudon to shrink the oceans and create a glorious landmass. What kind of vision is that anyway? Like, hmm, I really, really want more land. Let's do that. <laughs> Like, how do you recruit people to that? Like, do, do you get a grand scheme? No, I do. I want more land. Do you want to join me? 
They're like, yeah, that's, that sounds like a great idea. Let, let's let's go with that. Take over the world? No, I want more land. <laughs> with more dry land to live on, the creature of the land will no longer have to fight for territory. That is the ideal world for people and Pokemon. The world without conflict, don't you agree? That's a that's a psychopath. <laughs> if I ever saw one. <laughs> All right, you don't. You, do you mean to interfere with my plans? You're just like the fool from Team Aqua. I can't allow an ignorant child like you to get in the way of a match. I'll show you the consequences of a meddling. Dear God. That said, though, that's kind of cool. Mighty Yena. So we're gonna actually intimidate each other. If it's not Moxie, that is. It should be Intimidate, though. That's the right ability. Not that powerful. So that's good. I think we can actually deal with him. I'm gonna go for Return here. That did some damage. That didn't do some damage. Defense dropped out. That's, that's, that's not good. Let's see, I'm definitely gonna switch out um, after I KO this Pokemon. I don't. I, I kind of feel like, you know, he, he was saying something about Groudon. I, I think that's. Um, I think that could be dangerous. Camaroth, yeah. Dakar, you're up. I really can't help feeling that, you know, going for Ultra Space, search for Pokemon before doing this, might have gotten me a bit too powerful. Of course, leveling up Tropius probably helped Weezing. I should stay in. I think it's backfire, I always have um, Ice Beam to cover that up. Waterfall should do a decent chunk. It did alright, we got a flinch, which is awesome. Let's keep going at it. Come on, Dakar. Nice. And another flinch. Let's go for the... Wait. No. I actually went for, you know, the... The less ideal move. <laughs> going for the, for the shame, the disrespect move, and just totally failed. Alright, let's try this one more time. Pain splits. Oh, it might as well get fully recovered from this. Yeah, ouch. That's not good. Come on, the car. <laughs> you will let me down by going for freaking pain splits. That's new. I'm gonna keep going at it. T bolt. Yeah, we got this. Good job, the car. Good job. I'm no ordinary frog, yo. All right, go for Crobat. It's time. I'm gonna bring in Cyberax. If you guys hear scratching on the door, it is my cat. You might as well not hear it since it, my my microphone is pretty darn bad, but still, just kind of want to have this said. Let's see. So he's gonna flinch me now. That's that's not fair. Do connect this and headbutt though. Awesome. There we go. Now he did talk about Groudon. Is this something he has or something he's just threatening with? Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. No, nope, I'm staying in. I'm game. <laughs> I should be able to have speed. Groundman is not necessarily that speedy. I am not. <laughs> Ouch. Dear Lord. Mm -hmm.
I mean, Groudon is pretty OP, right? You can learn Fire Punch too, so I need to be aware of that, or Dragon uh, Lava Plume, or like that. I'm going for Dragon Dance here, just out speed, which I clearly already did, okay. We're going to see Flamethrower. I shouldn't be so dangerous. That's cool. Oh yeah, Chlorophyll. I'm being dumb, of course I'm faster. Leaf Blade though, ground on, you are no match. You are no match for me. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought we are gonna have Tropius just annihilating here, I guess. I guess that's out of the question. Um, I should bring Stoplin. I think Return should be well in range now. Plus, I get him intimidated. I mean, it's a ground on, so it's clearly it's, you know, strong. It is very strong, but we should be able to kill from this range. Plus, it's lower level than me. Yeah, there we go. Ground is defeated. Yay! 79. That's right. Southland is in the house. In the car level 80. That's gonna be helpful. And 78 on the Zaxxus. Cool. I fell behind, but only by an inch. Is that a saying? Is that a saying? That's the question. So you defeated the Master of Land, the Great Maxi. Still, I wonder what makes you adapt to handling Pokemon. There has to be some reason I was defeated. And what you're saying, aren't you? Hmm, I think you didn't didn't know that. This isn't my world after all. There's, I, if you truly wish to continue further the Team Rocket's castle, uh, there are two painting of that you will see need to be examined. One red and the other blue. I have my noble cause to expand the landmass and advance human investment of humankind and Pokemon. Uh, this is where my part, this is my, uh, yeah, stuff like that, whatever. Me and English are not friends. Um, right, gonna revive them. I want to expand the landmass. Let's see. Push it. Hey, I really hope there aren't any more puzzles. I kind of feel that they are super redundant. Because I kind of feel that you know the Mulvone symbol is definitely up there. Anybody remember him? I don't think so. Don't think he makes Pokemon content anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying though, Mulvone symbol. Oh dear God! All right. Is it some kind of battle battle compilation of some kind? I wonder. I mean, if so, it's gonna take forever. I mean, at least let me switch Pokemon to something that chaos everything you got. Ooh, clear body. I wasn't ready. Really protect. Evil, evil fiend. Hey, leftovers. I think return should do enough. To be honest, it's still a stubborn. Yeah. He got popped. So, am I supposed to battle everyone? Sorry, so I couldn't sound it right. Okay, that's better. I mean, with that in mind, I kind of want to... I think I'm bring guards up. I kind of felt that every matchup so far has been against Pokemon's dad. Um, or... What do you say? Oh, scratching my nose. Um, I don't feel that I have been necessarily strong enough 
the Pokemons I've used and have not been strong enough to be dealing with uh, um, any kind of this combination with uh, Earthquake and um, or the Edgequake combination should have been have been fair every time. So I feel like Garchomp kind of makes sense there, even though I don't carry Edgequake. I don't need to Mega Ball every time. I mean, Garchomp is pretty powerful as it is. To be honest, when I got it, I was like, yeah, this is um, this is going to be a game changer. Uh, I actually had Neuvern, um, I actually evolved Neuvern before I decided to dump him. Because um, Neuvern was a fair choice, I believe. But it just didn't do anything. Um, like, when it evolved and was ready, it was just too weak to work anyway in the first place. Which meant that I kind of gave up on it before it even gets started, which was really unfortunate. Iron Vault, that's going to be helpful. Um, let's see. Did I make it? No. It's back where I wanted. Okay, so back to this. I'm going in here. So this is only like transporter back and forth. Okay, this is... This is not good, is it? Is that the right one? This is where I found out it was not. Let's see. So, you got through the ground wall, did you? Nothing is better. Let's do this as planned. Raise yourself. Hiya. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be a pincer attack. Why am I all alone? Blast. No matter what, I'll stop you myself. Good thing. I know that the one up to... Upper the one up is the one I should go through. Right, eradicate. I mean, really, what's the point? Might as well overkill, right? This could be completely wrong too. I think so. And only for a revive. Yeah, we are not going to face you. And this looks like the part. Uh, so they have the same strats. Now, I wonder. Like, it's Team Aqua, um, Team Aqua, um, Team Magma. And it was supposed to be the bad guy from Generation 4, and the bad guy, for, like the Lissandra from Generation, what's that? 6, I think, yeah. The latest one, besides this one. I think so. I can't, re I never played Generation um, 4. Like any of those games, Pearl Diamond and um, Pearl Diamond it was something else. Platinum. I never played those games, and I, I always feel like when people bring up that you know that was the best generation or anything like that, I always feel so dumb because I can't I can't bring anything to that conversation at all. Um, that said, I definitely believe that it's a good generation. I mean, the starters from that generation are probably, in my opinion, the most interesting one. Um, but yeah, I haven't experienced that, nor has I the intention of doing so. Um, basically, very hard for to go back in Pokemon and play. I mean, clearly, like the, the followed-up games are always better, um, though there are really small changes in my opinion between Generation Four and Five, as I'm aware, and Six and Seven are roughly the same. And I think the, the graphical extension of Generation six and seven are so small that it's uh, it's kind of shameful um it's getting kind of dark in here doesn't it let's see let's bring some lights ah stuff like that should help hey 
But right, yeah, that's the Team Aqua guy. Let's see, does it have the same kind of ideology? I wonder. Hmm, what is this? You defeated Team RR Goons, did you know? Um, did you now? Well, that's a shame. They weren't r my real crew, but they were still mine for the moment. I don't know, why did it go all white? My name is Archie, I'm the leader of Team Aqua. I mean, I remember him being a bit of a colored. He actually looked really cool. He, now he looks, looks like I'm a very, very strange mustache guy. Doesn't look as cool as he uh, did in, 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 in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Let's see, or Alpha Sapphire, I guess he is in. Damn, I can't remember. Um, just when I completed my grave plan, I got swallowed up a giant wave. And when I came in front, around, I was in this world. The boss of Team RR was kind enough to let me use his this room for, for my own. I was trying to figure out a way to get back to my own home, and I don't. I do want to go back eventually, but I find myself thinking maybe I should make this world more like my ideal. While I'm here anyway, I got the sea base base in Pokemon Kyogre. With its power, it can control the rain, and I'll come down a great down the luge to wash away the world's land. A life is born from the sea. If what, if we help the ocean expand, we are creating a cradle for the future life to grow and thrive. The best possible future for both people and Pokemon, don't you think? How are these bad guys? <laughs> oh, so you want to go <laughs> buffoon magma? Oh, look at the graphic of that 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 fist. That's that's a that looks like a cake, basically. <laughs> it it looks like a cake, like a like a cut cake, like a triangle, like that, like with some fillings be beneath. I'm feeling it. Well then, you little shrimp. It's the rope that ends for you and your Pokemon. You you are aware of that I have a Mega Archon, right? You're you're not scaring me, poor Archie. He also have a mighty Anna. That's um, that's very unimpressive. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, intimidate. Yeah, that that could holding me back. But so could this. Not holding me back. That is, but holding you back. I, I, that that was that wasn't a good catchphrase, was it? <laughs> anyway, Greco should definitely care. There is really no reason it shouldn't. Um, the only thing I kind of get myself back on is whether or not um, I can deal with his Pokemon that are active. Muck. No, that's that's gonna go down. That's that's not gonna work, buddy. I mean, I, I'll definitely set up Kyogre myself at this point. This is minus one attack is not much for a Garchomp. I'm, I'm telling you guys that already. Sharpedo. Meh. It could be the Mega Sharpedo. It could carry Ice Fang. It could be faster. But it's not a Mega, and it definitely dies here. I feel for our key right now. At least the guy at Magma Maxime really did fight back. I don't believe Archie has the option of doing so. Um. I want to go to Ronse, I think. Or Dakar. I think Dakar is a better option. Or, I mean, Fulf. Fulf is better. Because you get intimidated, which is awesome. Toxic, you bastard. <laughs> So I can bulk myself through the Kyogre now, that's for sure. Um, I think Polarail can take it on though. Oh wow, okay. Poor Crobat. That clearly didn't work for him at all. Let's see, Poison will take me out, down a bit. Um, definitely go into Car versus the Kyogre. Um, I really have no reason not to. Plus, under Rain, I think Waterfall does a pretty big chunk on it. 
and he can't spam against me because I have water absorb. And assault vest, so I mean, his best bit is possibly carry thunder, and if so, you know, that's jokes on me, basically. But if not, then you know, I'm game. Brick break it is. Shouldn't do too much to is it. Oh, I did alright, but it did have thunder. Come on, assault vest come through. I did. It actually did. I, I'm two hit KOing a Kyogre. Never seen anything like it. I'm. That's cool. Do not joke around with a Polyrath when it's clearly like 15 level above you. You're probably just stuff. <laughs> okay, so that that definitely did work. Um, well, would you look at that? I control the ocean and all of its power. Yet here I am beaten by a little tyke. All right, all right. You made your point. I can see that you're. Not one to be trifled with. I think I got some. Ah! I think I know what it is. Got some cat hairs in my nose. <laughs> Best video ever. Anyway, if you want to go further to Team Rocket's castle, check out the pictures. I got that. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I kind of feel like we're wasting our time. Um. Let's see, hyper potions on the car and antidote on fourth, and possibly change team again. Like, I feel guard jump is very, very, very powerful. So, let's go back to Ronse. I like Lycan Rock, it's, it's too bad, it match up never in his favor when it comes to the tougher battles. Hey, we got the stairs and team rockets. Okay, something happened in Gusma, I'm sure. Hmm. How long can I've been playing? Like at least an hour. An hour. Oh wait, he's just okay. <laughs> Hey, you found the press yet? Not yet. Uh, come on, you grunts, tell me where the press is or else. We're not going to tell you anything. Hmm. Okay. So we got to find a card key on the second floor. Um... You're still warning around here. You better hurry, little tyke, or what you're looking after will be gone forever. Who are you two weirdos? What do you mean, gone forever? Well, if it is the big buffoon himself, Archie. Hey, careful who you call names, Maxine. I seem to recall you covering, covering in defeat in front of me. Cowering in defeat. Such a nonsense. You, No matter what world we are in, I would never lose the likes of you. Oh, you want to prove, <laughs> prove it? Let's sell this right here and now. As you wish. Let's let the victor take a Lola and <laughs> he does whatever he pleases. Agreed. Hey, what are you all talking about? This isn't your turf. Hmm? What? What is this? What? What's going on here? I got these goons. You head upstairs. Yeah, did they just transport back or what? Hmm, interesting. Let's sneak behind her. Like I said, too low a level here to really care for. Get some other options here. Let's do this then. Hmm. I don't think the statues um, can see you, so I'm pretty sure we can push those um, bricks or whatever. Let's find out. Let's do this, Ronze. One thing I'm definitely going to say about Lycanroc that I think are very boring is that 
Lycanroc has not gotten anything that really does help it out. That really does help it out. I think the new forms were um, were interesting, but they didn't do anything for it. Okay, that didn't work. Let's see. Yeah. Beep beep. Intruder alert. So what's happening? Why can't I do anything to them? I'm being dumb, aren't I? Um, I'm missing out on something. Why can't I push this? I don't understand. But you're not allowed to touch the back of Meow. Aha, I see. There are only two ways it can go, so okay, I see. Well, that clearly did work, but I really was looking to like using my charm to be able to capitalize on it. But fair enough then. Oh dear God, really? Yeah, the one thing I was going to say about Lycanroc is that if it had gone in close combat, I think it would have been helped. Um, Head Smash would probably not be in the best interest, but something that capitalized on its strength would be much, much more appreciated. Uh, and of course, I think that Dusk Form, while being the right adjustment for the Pokémon, is not resolving it due to actually lowering its speed. Uh, lowering its speed here basically meant that yet again it was worse off, which it's super unfortunate. It's it cleared a Pokemon that does work, and I think um, avoiding in transparency just makes it all all worse basically. Let's see, I'm gonna grab a Pokeball first. There we go, PP up. That's always gonna be helpful. Even though, you know, I get my Pokemon, but still. For the Pokemon I got now, I mean, PP up will always be helpful. Always will be. Um, Alright, he's gonna keep going at it. I'm gonna take that way, aren't I? No, no, I'm not. I'm not a puzzle god, I can tell you guys that already. Um, if you look down, that's a good thing. You can look at the side. Yeah. Then we turn you around. You look that way. And you can look down, right? I think that's what we're gonna do. You're not. But I can turn you that way. And I can get this. Cell battery. Cool. Um, and I can turn you. This is a cell battery that boosts your. Special attack by one if you're hit by electric move, that's gonna be helpful. That made it all worse. Actually, no, that works. Let's do this. That was the last part, okay. I wonder which one I place. I wanna know, like, if I middle this Andre, um, I want to know his reasoning, if he won, like what his vision was. I remember something about that, the Team Flare, I think it was, uh, that they um, they wanted to make the world beautiful, right? And um, 
<laughs> it was just a very strange motive. I never really cared for it. Uh, so I kind of want to see what, um, if it were successful, what that all aimed up to. As I you know, slaughter my matchups here. Damn, I feel for these P these Pokemon. I really do. Like, like in the hunt, you know, for the Ultra Beast and stuff like that, I clearly got too powerful. That's is is nowhere going around it. I guess the only thing I've left after this is actually going through the Elite for again. We'll see if I can do that. Right, that was the first one. I'm definitely running out of PP on round say, so I need to switch Pokemon yet again for my lead. But as you guys have seen here, everything is basically one shotted no matter what, which is really appreciated. Um let's see, Tentacruel, yeah, that's that's also gonna be one shotted for sure. But my drill run when I say that is about to run out. I have Thunder Fang though, so it's kinda weird I haven't used that. Since this is Moon, that is, we got Thunder Fang, that's, that's great. But yeah, this is, I think this is either the, um, the Gen 4 leader or um, Lusandre. Actually, I should have Elixir, right? I should be actually be working towards it. Max Elixir, that's probably not what I wanted to do. It's an expensive item, which I'm never going to use anyway. Yeah, that's Lissandre. Right, let's find out about his motives. I actually want to know. You must be intruder I kept hearing about. Really? It's spreading so fast. I am Lissandre. I look like shit. Um, I had triggered ultimate weapon to wipe out all fools, everyone except Team Flare. But at the moment of the bright of light has swallowed me and I was wandering to this world. No matter. My purpose remains the same. Which world I am is not important. Um, the only way to create a world where people live in beauty <laughs> it is um, a world without conflict or theft. Behind me you see two buttons. One will open a path for you and help you move forward. The other will trigger the ultimate weapon and destroy all there is in this world. Make your choice. Believe in being a chosen one, which means one of the future, whatever we active the ultimate weapon will leave it safely on the ground will rest upon you actually have the potential or not i i actually think like I, i'm gonna save the game but i think the conclusion is the same no matter what i do and that pretty much means that this is externally so i remember correctly you press the blue button unfortunately you're not the chosen one you will destroy the world you try to protect by your own hand however there is still time before the ultimate weapon is fully activated. Press press the other button over there to, before it to be able to stop it. Of course, if you refuse, you refuse to allow that. Of course, I refuse to allow that. I'll keep you busy for the moment. The future you want, or the future I want. Let's see which one is more deserving, shall we? I mean, that's also a psychopath. Like, there's no way going around it. Okay, I see you. Um, and, and now the levels are getting up. I could very well miss out on KO here with Drill Run. I could, but I don't because I get freaking crits of 12%. Boom! <laughs> Hunch Crow, I like that. Game on. I'll prioritize your Sucker Punch anyway. Just because it excel rock. So, whack. This is what makes, this is really what makes the like a rock one of the better new introduction to the Pokemon. It's just, that priority tough claw boost is just, it is almost as scary as, you know, technician boosted bullet punch from Scizor. It is on the same level. Um, poor Pyro. I mean, Lissandra and Pyro had, you know, the same look, don't they? Um, let's see, Jarados. I'm feeling, I'm feeling frisky. Let's do this. Do I remember it being Mega Gyarados in uh, Sun or in X and Y? If not, then it's gonna die to a Thunder Fang. Oh, it is the Mega. He he is ready. Dear God. 
well, Thunder Fang was still a better option, I guess. But I think, to be honest, I'm pretty sure that a waterfall KOs me because I'm still a Lycanroc, so that's powerful hit. Poor Lycanroc. Alright. Come on, Gajira, let's do this. Go for Dragon Dance. I should be slower. Yeah, I am. Stone Edge. It actually does a lot of damage. So, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine, actually. Um, Leaf Blade should definitely take this Pokemon out. No doubt. And we are faster, at least, at plus one. So that's awesome. There we go. Yay, Folk Level 80. His last Pokemon is Jules Veltal. Or is it Y Veltal? I don't know. It's a Pokemon that definitely will defeat me with his Oblivion Wing. But at least I get the Dragon Hammer off, which is awesome. That's all I care for. Whack. <laughs> Shit, that's bulky. Ooh, poor Gajira. I'm pretty sure it gets all the recovery or all the damage I did to it. Yeah, it's it's back. And it's dark flying, right? Right, I'm gonna bring Cyber Axe. Dark Pulse might very well do a lot of damage towards me. But I get to do an ICMC Ice Punch to get some damage, really, really high damage here. Shadow Ball, okay, that's better. That's not as effective. Here we go. Gotta appreciate the small things here. It might not KO, but it might. It really, really will bring it down quite a lot. I think this is 140 base power, so it's up there. Or it could KO, I don't know how bulky this Pokemon really is. But I remember it being very, very, very fat. That's cool. So, Alessandre, you were no match for us. I can feel the fire of your conscience burning deep within your heart. Really? That's, that's kind of cliche, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I don't think his motivations are really that good. The strength to protect her. Very well. Go on and press the other button. Yeah, I think... Like I said it here, I think his... His motives as a villain was really weak. I don't remember that wrong at all. Very, very, very forgettable. Look, I'm all for, you know, like, the psychopath, you know, route, you know, uh, bringing, you know... All land or all the water, like I can, I can appreciate that in a, you know, being very weird and a very, very dumb reasoning for doing so. But Lissandre do not represent that. He definitely just are a person who wants to destroy the world for, just because he wants some kind of beauty, and it just becomes off as really dumb. I mean, he comes off as way dumb, dumber than the others because he's just a cliche. Let's see, you have stopped my ultimate weapon, and also you have taken one step more towards your goal. Maybe, if my world had a trainer like you, the path I chose could have been different. No, nothing can change me now. If there is, if there is a path of, to create a beautiful world, then that is the path I have to take. Even if it means I can only save a handful of the old world. Psycho. Like, yeah, he's total cliche. And there, I like, this is his glasses he had on. On that Fateful Battle. Um, Fateful Battle, really? No, it was freaking Scumbag Battle. But yeah, I, I can't remember that being anything good. Like, that was probably one of the worst thing about X and Y. The villain was just so weak. And I'm not really going to take that away. Like, that's easily the worst part about it. Let's see, I wanted the Pokeballs. I maybe made a wrong decision there. I might. All I want is the Pokeball. Do, 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 do. 
There we go. Probably gonna be crap in it, isn't it? Yeah, revive. That's cool. I would like to introduce this again. I mean, this, this was easily the best part about the gym. Uh, what's that? Eight and uh, the Silk Scope Corporation. Really, really like that part. Ooh, he's taunting me. He got sink. I might have got him fooled. Let's get away. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta stop there. I can move back. There we go. I really hope this was only two duels. Nope, they got worse. Um, Alright, this was definitely the wrong way. Dear Lord, this was definitely not the right way either. So I'm gonna go here then. And then not go there, so I'm gonna go up here. Then through here. And that was the right way. And I'm gonna take a guess here that that, that Pokeball was there, that's gonna be an electrode. I'm banking I'm banking Bluesy on this. I lost Bluesy. Dear God. I'm sorry, John. I hope you're getting a better place. <laughs> it's alright. Um I wonder what Pokemons the Gen 4 guy did. Or did use. That that could definitely be interesting. Um to be honest, I would have liked if, instead of bringing the, the evil guys left, while funny, uh, I probably appreciate more, I really can't stress this enough, if they actually brought the champions from each game, or you know, the champions before you, you beat them, like Lance and whatnot, and you know, Gary. Um, I think that concept hasn't been done, they've just like showcased a few ideas from it, but they're not going through with it, and I know some people could push for that, you know, the battle tree, you're able to actually capitalize on that, but you know, no, I don't feel it, um, and I would be lying if I said that I think that's a good concept, like, the battle tree matchup just aren't necessarily that interesting, uh, while something more predetermined, or even, you know, have the, when you go into, um, um, we call it, going for a league victory on your own, actually make the five people you face be in the previous champion from previous generations, um, instead of the new people introduced. If you really want to capitalize on nostalgia, that should have been a better route to take. I'm saying this like I know how to design a game, I clearly do not, but I think that would have been overall a stronger option. Um, I mean, banking on you know, nostalgia is always a strong thing, and I think missing out on the good part about nostalgia and actually just go and fight as they did on Battletrain and whatnot, that's, that doesn't play too well with me. So right, Arva clearly survived a drill run, that's that's new. Um, only did they kiss of intimidation. And of course, Ron say yet again get through paralyzed. By the way, for those who actually missed that since we saw Glare, it is actually the only remaining paralyzing move right now that are guaranteed to paralyze since Funroy can miss. And of course, it does paralyze ground types, which is something Funroy cannot. Ron say really are easy to paralyze, isn't she? Air slash, yeah, that's not gonna help. I I prioritize you if I attack that is. At minus one, it actually lived. How about that? Alright. Nope, fully paralyzed. Damn it, Ronze. <laughs> I do not approve of this this misbehavior. I'm gonna have Like, if this was a Wi-Fi battle, I'd probably forfeit at this point. Yeah, only one Pokemon Rune, one HP, but, you know, this is... Come on. It's supposed to be 25%, yet you get fully paralyzed. What is that? Three times and hit twice. Yeah, that's not 50%. Or 25, that's more like 60. Um, gotta use a full restore here. 
since we lost so much HP anyway, kind of might as well to get away from the polarization. All right, so this is the, um, the Gen 4 guy. He looks cooler though. He definitely looks cooler. Let's see, who are you? It seems you're not a member of Team RR. I am Cyrus. Oh, okay. I would like to ask you one question. Is this world the new world? I don't know. I can sense if you have strong desire to protect something. You are a powerful spirit. That must mean this isn't the world I desired. I use the power of a Pokemon to control time and space to create a perfect world when human spirits does not exist. Um, then was that was when I when a great shadow appeared and engulfed me uh, and brought me to this world. Is that a Pokedex? May I have a look? Interesting. This world's Pokedex is. I see. You have a, sp a spirit as well. But it's too late. All too late. I cannot stop now. You must remove the weak, incomplete human spirits from this world to protect the perfection. How foolish. I will not let anyone get in my way. So his name is Cyrus and he's from a, some kind of G G team. Team Galactic. Okay. I see. Oh yeah, we have Team Plasma also. That I do remember. I do remember that guy. Let's see, it brought Houndoom. That was strange. It is gonna just definitely KO, like, pfft, no problem. Um, show me what you got. Meanwhile, yeah, there we go. That's the Gen 4 Pokemon we were talking about. You're not weak to this either, are you? Weak to Accelerock, which is very unfortunate, meanwhile. Very, very much so. There we go, meanwhile gone. Ronce is doing stuff. He is doing stuff. Crobat, all right, have at it. I'm sorry to say it, but so far you have not intimidated me whatsoever. Thunderfang is definitely gonna KO. I mean, have you seen my level? It's over nine times. That's Hunch Crow Ocean. Not gonna lie, this does not look good for them. The um, Clyde guy, what was it? He was called. Galactic, Team Galactic guy. Palkia. Now that's a water dragon. Like, yeah, now I can see things not going my way. Carrying Palkia, are you kidding me? That's their best Pokemon, like, easily. Thunder Fang should probably do around 50% if I'm lucky. Not even close. Surf will definitely KO. I'm sorry, Ronze. I actually am. Um, yeah, I'm bringing out Saxus. No reason not to. Might as well show the, the road that Yen 4 semi legendary dragon took. It got stronger, not necessarily better. But it definitely got stronger. So much so that I think that this is enough to KO a Palkia. Shit went down. Alright, there we go. Nice. Sorry, Cyrus. Why are you able to create such a strong bond with your Pokemon? And how are you able to turn those bonds into strength? Don't you get it, Skyrunder? Is the... I don't know. Some cliche line. I see. I need not to worry. Rotom, I will not do anything to this world. I, I believe I shall return to the perfect world I created. But before that, take this key.
use this activated machine on the wall behind me, it should open a mirror door. Had I met you sooner, I would. Things might have been different for me. Had things might be different for me. Who knows? Max Revival Ronsay. I'm gonna change Ronsay now for the car, I think. Really want to use on Polyrath. So we have Team Plasma left and Team Rockets. I guess Team. What do you call him? Um, team Plasma makes for a fair um, opponent also to be like one of the last one. Uh, I don't know whether or not it's N or Gatis, if that was his name, but I think it's Gatis, not N, since N was supposed to be a good guy to some extent. Um, but since, of course, Generation 5 was so vastly different in structure, it would make more sense to uh, have them last, as it was more reminiscent of Generation 1 with a broader roster. Let's see, hidden door behind a mirror unlocked. Now we can war go to war panel. Yay! Alright, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. It was Gaitis. Well, now, what do we have here? I come out of wondering what the common is, only to find a door in the center of the castle, a jar for intruder running wild. It seems those team leaders from the other world were are not nearly as useful as they had hoped. Who are you? Where is my mother? You haven't harmed her, have you? Mother, you say? I see, you're the daughter of the president. I am Gatis. I am representing Team Plasma. I was supposed to... Let's see, I was summoned from another world much like the other leaders you have defeated. Uh, there is need, no need to worry. You'll find the presence up ahead blissfully asleep and dreaming. Ah, not so fast. Please get out of my way. Unfortunately, I cannot let you go beyond you your point. You see, I have been thinking long and hard about the reason I have been sent to this world. And I now, and now, I believe I finally have an answer. My purpose is to travel between the worlds, freeing all Pokemon from foolish people. And at the same time, consolidate all the power of the world to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful ideal, however, I have no need I have need of useful pawns. And the man, the leader Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. If I can make him good use of him, I can set him up as a king and I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence. I have no found that <laughs> I have now found a human that are there sorry. I have now found that humans with their Predictable ambitions are easier to use and control than the freak without human heart. It wouldn't do <laughs> it wouldn't do at all to have get him this way, especially with I must establish him as my king. Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well then. All obstacles of my ambition must be removed. Sure. I don't remember how powerful he was. I just remember that there was no league at all in Generation 5 because he took over. Or there was a, a or a league ish, but it was shoved aside over quickly. Anyway, gonna go to Waterfall, get the mummy, whack. That didn't do anything. I hate configurators. Don't willow me. It's like he doesn't even care. That's not going to be helpful for me. You know that. Ice beam then. I was a crit. I was like, yeah, that did damage. Here comes Shadow Ball. That's going to sting. Good thing I am a Solvist. Don't be fully restoring him. Bastard.
There's a burn heal. I need something to kind of... Kind of make sure that I can do damage to Confergus. It might whisk me again, but at least I have an honest chance of doing more damage now. If not, I'm just going to switch out to Stoutland, which I think could help out here. Keeps going for Shadow Ball, good. So we will knock him out now, so that's awesome. Buffalant. That's going to work for us. By the way, isn't it kind of weird that both Double Edge and Head Charge are basically the same a move? Like, both are 1 and 20 base power with Recall. Feels really weird that they introduce the exact same move, just for different Pokémons. Let's see, Hydreigon, okay. This Pokémon could outspeed me, I think. But if not, then Brick Break could very well just KO directly. But it is faster. I wonder if my... Assaultus will save me. It will. And that's a dead Hadragon. Come on, Gages. I am waiting. I am waiting for you to do stuff towards me. You wouldn't let a freaking... What do you call it? Gen Toad beat you up, would you? I think so. There is nothing stopping me. Though he should have the Gen 7 Dragon. Or oh, five, right? Yeah, there is Reshiram. It's too late to back down now. Come on, Polyrath. This is an easy matchup. We're gonna get freaking killed. If I'm faster, I'm going to connect with Earthquake. I am faster. Come on, Polyrath. Oh, so close. So close to just sweep gauges. I'm sorry, the car. You really, really did good. You really did good. Don't worry, buddy. I'll never forget this. With that said, though, um, I guess I'm just gonna do the easy KO at this point and go for Accelerock. Just whack it. Full restore. Okay, you're playing that game. I wonder, Axelrock should do a lot of damage anyway. Holy shit, that was a crit, okay. <laughs> That's right, Ronce is here. That was cool. I couldn't have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. Well, you could. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands, absolutely perfect. I am a perfectionist. I am the perfect rule of the perfect new world. You lost, please step aside. This cannot be possible. I will not accept this. Oof. What? He, he like punched her? What? You don't get it, do you? You can't... I can't be defeated. I won't be. I cannot allow it. You, tiny intruder, if you value this girl's life, throw aside your Pokeballs at this moment. You coward. Scarab, please don't listen to him. Shut your mouth. What is this? Your Pokeballs are shaking. Could it be that you're shaking with rage? No matter. Throw away all your Pokeballs, right? In this instance. I refuse. Are you listening? Or did I simply not understand? Or do you simply not understand? Will you leave me no choice? The girl must... I see. You're still dedicated on your own desires, Gates. You. It's been a while. Miss Lily, is it good? it's good to see you again. We ran into each other in the lab. Perhaps you recall? Mr. Carlos? And you, Scanner, we meet again. Miss Wick had sent a word that you may need my assistance. You'll have to forgive my rudeness. But I am allowed. I followed your trail using an invincible device recently. I recently invented. It seems Gates are has caused you quite a trouble. Although it appears that Gates is from a different world than this one I know. The one I know. 
of course, colorless of this world, but you should have no reason to meddle with my plans. Oh, please. I still desire you, Gatis. You're enough reason for me. What is this? My body's being pulled. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, so it's him. It seems like repeated. It seems like repeated use of this. No problem with the provision prototype. I should have known Colas machine when I wanted to work. Thanks for helping us. Uh, but what did you do to that man? Simple adjustment is the mental channel. If you will, I sent him back to his original word, but Gatis is the man of power and matches ambition. He is not someone to be taken lightly. Uh, I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep that Gatis from troubling this world. Yes. By turning either paradise back to the original form, we all the different able to mix together, it should be a tremendous power and evil in the center of this castle. If you can remove that man, the twisted desire, the coralless machine should be able to revert everything back to normal. You mean Team Rocket's boss? If we can do something about him, everything will be fixed. Indeed, Miss Lily, you are a very sharp young lady. I would like to study this castle, however, so I will leave the rest to you too. No. Heal my Pokemon. There we go. Still leading with the car. So we only got one guy left, and that is going to be the Giovanni. And that's going to be awesome. And I really, really don't want anything else besides that battle. I think this guy went on long enough, this dungeon. Mother! Very well. No, well, well. I have been informed of an intruder, but not that you were kids like you. I had allowed the other bosses to do as they wished, hoping they would be of use, but it seems you have defeated all of them. I am impressed. I'm impressed you got here. So you, you are the Team Rainbow Rockets, indeed. Team Rocket's goal was to use all Pokemon to control the world, but now I have a bigger, better organization, Team Rainbow Rocket. And I, Giovanni, am its leader. Mother, are you okay? Mother, please answer. Sure. The president will not awake for some time. I use the power of the Ultra Beast to make her sleep. And when she awakens next, she will be loyal servants to my, to me. What? How could you? Team Rainbow Rocket will conquer all the world. We will build an army of UBs. And in order to, for this precious dream to be realized, we need the technology of the Eater Foundation and technology from the other world. But also appreciate the skill it took to get you this far. I like those who shown strength. Why not put strength to good use in my team Rainbow Rockets? No. I really want to say yes though. Ha, of course that would be your answer. To be honest, if you have a red tower and you know glowing neon lights, i would probably join. Like that's not gonna go away. Having a kid stand in front of me like this, such a thing I should never should never happen, but for some reason it also makes me feel nostalgic. If you insist on disrupting my plan, I'll make you feel the world of pain. Five Pokemon. Okay, you have any? Dug Trio. That's a cool start. Was that a Master Ball that you've actually thrown? Bastard. But I have the car. I should be able to fend this Pokemon off. Sandstorm. Okay. That's right. Too bad my... My Stoutland is not Sand Rush. That would have been most interesting. Hmm. Rhyperior. Yeah, you're not getting through me with that. It's good to see that he actually boosted up his ride on to Rhyperior. But against a Dakar? No. That's not gonna work, buddy. 
It did survive those. I guess it's not all bad. Well, use your full restore if you must. Warfall should do just about the same. I must say it is very interesting to see Rhyperia surviving a four times effective waterfall. That's that's new. Underestimate this threat. And my Dakar is running low. Is definitely running low. Okay. Need okay. Well, this time it could very well outspeed me. And if it does, that's fine. It doesn't. The car is coming through, punching everyone. <laughs> it clearly is like. I'm definitely feeling the car here. But yeah, we are getting low. But if we outspeed Nido King, we should outspeed Nido Queen too. Making Polarab probably one of the most invaluable Pokemon for this battle. Though it can't be all. We all know it has one legendary. Oh, it did survive though. Get the poison point also? And we got the flinch. Can we? No. Close enough, but no. No dice. Alright. Go Metagross. We might be slower, but we have Bullet Punch. Last Pokemon, Mewtwo. Level 70 though, so I don't think it is as intimidating as um, Mewtwo Y. Alright, I'll take that back. Maybe, yeah, Aura Sphere, that's definitely gonna do damage. But not enough. Okay, we are fine. We are really fine here. Alright, we got this. Like I said there, very unfortunately that I was this powerful going into this place, because I really, really think that I would have been a more fair challenge had I not overpowered myself so much for getting Trobius on the same level. What's this all is the question. I see you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. It wouldn't be f it would be foolish to fight such a kid with all the my might. Ha, very well. I'll leave it to paradise in your hands. But remember, team Rainbow Rocket will never fail. Never forget that. So, what does that mean? I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Hey, back to normal. The castle is gone. Colorless machine has been activated and it restored the mansion's original form. Which means, you've done it. You defeated Team Rocket. Took you long enough. For a trainer such a such as you can bring out Pokemon's power through your balls. It is. It must have been easy. The defeat of Team Rocket's boss seems to be have have sent everyone back to, with him, back to their own world. As for me, I have decided my next theme of research. Well, then I hope to see you again sometime. Mr. Carlos is truly a great scientist, isn't he? I barely remember that character in generation 5 I feel very dumb for that though he is a very strange though he's very strange where am I Lily and Scarander 
Madame Press. Mother. Mother. Scar defeated Team Rockets for us. He did? You must have been a terrible danger. He did. He was a real amazing. Well, Scar, it seems you saved the day once again. I'm truly grateful. Are you, though? You are asleep. Mr. Faba. Ugh. President, I'm glad you're safe. Still a bit dissident, but... What do you mean, Faba? Are you hurt? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. No need to worry about yourself, Mr. President. I'm glad you're self safe. Now, now, Miss Lily, you must not still be rattled about our conversation about in the chaos caused by the Team Rocket. I would never do such a thing to betray the Foundation inviting Rainbow Rocket into my advancing my career. Branch Chief Faba. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, what happens now? Oh, Scar, thank you so much for assisting us in paradise. Mother's in the regular room now, drawing your shakes and Mr. Faba. Come on, Faba. Put your back into it. Ugh, why must you be doing such a meaningless movie chores? Come on, internal Faba, <laughs> all day. Intern? Please don't call me by that title. <laughs> Don't you think he will return to his position at Branch Chief anytime soon? Uh, oh, and I forgot. Here, take these. 55 big nuggets? I imagine Team Rocket plan to use these in founding. They hide them. <laughs> Dear God, okay. Miss Wick, please help me just a little. Oh, right away. Well, see you later. He repairs back to business as usual. And it's all thanks to you, Skarner. I'm worried about my mother, and I'm just terrified of those Team Rocket rock people. But to be honest, having another adventure with you, Skarner, it was a lot of fun. I'm really, really grateful. Uh, when I do my own island challenges, I could be great as you, Skarner. But I guess for now it's time to go. I'll see you again soon. So that pretty much, I think, wraps up... No, there's more. He never left. Ha, huh, that boy had quite some talents. Now, what new world shall I unleash my evil scheme upon? Ooh. He had the power to train. He, he stole the, the apparatus to be able to go through gener different uh, dimensions. That's kind of cool. So Giovanni actually won. But yeah, okay, that was the whole part then about the new um, Rainbow Rocket. To be honest, I wasn't disappointed. I, I would be lying if I said I was disappointed, but I definitely, if you look into the value of Pokemon. Uh, Ultra Sun and Moon, it definitely uh, isn't worth the game's full value due to it, I think. While the in interesting concept together with Gorsnik Rosma, if this is all the game had to offer at a full price and roughly are the same as uh, Sun and Moon, I would definitely call this a cash grab. Uh, I really like Adventure, but this was definitely not... It didn't need to create, be a whole new game just for this little part. I'm definitely not gonna... like justified anywhere else that said though i did appreciate it i thought it was <coughs> dear lord i thought it was interesting so with all this said, guys i really hope you enjoyed this episode if you want to see something more like this from my channel make sure to write it down below i definitely believe this was definitely longer than it needed to and um i'm gonna upload it as whole as it is um so if you see like a two two and a half hour uh, video be intimidated because this is a lot of stuff though clearly not as much of these things are interesting and as you guys saw not too much drama either because i was very very over level for this and i really really think that was boring due to it that said though that's the level i were at and um that sadly is the way it goes i'm i really wish i never got tropius because i really really got op here 
Uh, but yeah, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and of course, join me tomorrow, where we're going to have an episode of Who Was Really Better. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care.